This week on the Spotlight, we talk to the fans at the Wise Owl at Van Buren and Racine. They love football. Then we have more with a certain White Sox relief pitcher. Showed you some of them last week. And then we go back to the Wise Owl. We have coverage of the Chicago Bears game. And then we flash back Gene Lamont, the 1993 White Sox manager. Check out my website, Benkowski.com, for my weekly article and up-to-the-minute trivia sites. From wherever Chicago sports teams are making news, it's the Perfect Pitch Auto Repair Sports Spotlight. Flowers for every imaginable occasion at Lansing Floral Shop. Call them at 708-474-1212. They deliver. You've got to get to Irish Legend. They have great food, great drink, the outdoor patio, great staff, open at 11 a.m. daily. Easy to reach. Just go down Archer, 8933 in Willow Springs. Great place, Irish Legend. You've got to get to the sock. Live Benkowski Trivia, alternate Thursdays, 8 p.m., 93rd and Roberts Road. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. You've got to get to Dr. Sherman Clay, chiropractor. Gentle adjusting, most insurance accepted. Massage therapy, too. Walk-ins are welcome. Call 773-324-4325. That's HEAL. Dr. Sherman Clay. You've got to get the Snapper Seafood and Chicken, like I do, at 115th and Western. Amongst their fine, fine menu items, tilapia, perch, catfish, shrimp, conch from the Miami Connection, crab, but Philly steak and grilled food. It's great. Get the Snappers. You've got to get to Shelton Fireworks, the world's largest warehouse, off Interstate 94, exit 22B in Porter, Indiana. Row after row of the best fireworks anywhere. From the little ones to the grand finales that'll end your show. Birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, in addition to the 4th of July, just get over there to Shelton Fireworks now. Then you can reload by the time summer comes. Shelton Fireworks, I-94, exit 22B in Portage. Game one, the Bears playing pretty good defense at Houston. They ended up with a pick in the first quarter. And it led to a touchdown, and the Bears were in front. So it's their debut at the Wise Owl, and the Bears got off to a good start. They got a pick on the first Houston possession, parlayed it into a Alshon Jeffrey driven drive. Langford scored a touchdown. We're uh, seven to three. Bears lead early in the second quarter. Tell us your name and uh, why you're at the Wise Owl. Terzino, doing a little breakfast and watching the games. Okay, and a uh, long time Bears fan or a casual fan? Or what? Uh, yeah, definitely a casual fan. Uh, just a fan of the NFL. Are you any fans this week? Are you going to be going to the NFL? I don't have any action. Good. Uh, my order is very good. 
uh, cold beer. And uh, these are uh, Second quarter, Jay Cutler spots his man, Eddie Royal, touchdown, and the Bears are the leaders at the half. So we're excited about the Bears taking the halftime lead. Fans are going to talk about the Wise Owl and the Bears. Uh, tell us your name and uh, what you think about the game so far. My name's Carrie, and I think the Bears are doing a fantastic job. I'm really, really proud of them. Okay, uh, that's that's very kind of you. Now, before the mic went on, what were you saying about missing people? Oh gosh, I miss Brandon Marshall. I miss Matt Forte. I miss Robbie Gould. Robbie Gould. I mean, come on, what are you doing to us, Bears? Yeah. But you keep Jay Cutler. You keep keeping him. Keeping, keeping him. We're not happy about that. He just threw the touchdown pass to put him in the lead. Yeah, that's okay. Talk to me next week. Talk to me next week. <laughs> well, I don't know that we'll be here next week, but, but we'll probably talk to you next month. Fantastic. Okay. All right. Tell us uh, what you think of the Wise Owl, your name, and any other comments you want to make. I'm Leslie. We love it here. This is our maybe fourth, third time being here. We like it a lot. What is it about the atmosphere? Uh, the waitress is awesome, first of all, but the uh, outdoor is amazing. Yes. Yeah. I'm feeling it, too. Um, well, introduce us to a puppy or two. Oh, this is Bob. Hey, Bob, you want to say hello? Bob, are you a Bears fan? Come on, say hi, Bubba. Can we get him on camera? Can you hey. Him on your, hey, come on here. Come on here. Come on, here. Come on, here. Come here Bubba. Come on. There we go. Oh, my hey. God. Hey. You want to Still rolling tape? Yeah, we are rolling. Okay, that's... <laughs> well, that happens. Okay, let's... Uh, this is Bob. Yeah, say hi, Bob. Hey, Bob. All right, thank you, Bob. <laughs> yeah, really, it's they really do have it all. All right, let's um, how do we do this? Okay, that's good. That, nice move, Danny. All right, Danny. Um, uh, all right, uh, tell us who you have on your leash and who you are. Oh, hi, I'm Sheila, and this is Tobin. 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 Yeah. There, there was once a Bears general manager named Tobin. Really? I did not know that. I did not know that. Hi, Tobin. Can you, can you say something? <laughs> I bet the Bears had a Bob once or two in the roster. Well, that was really <laughs> yeah, the, the dog friendly thing is really fantastic. Uh, and, I, and, and may I say uh, to you, parents, uh, they're so well behaved. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. No, I mean it's it's a challenge, you know, as children. <laughs> and we have one of them too. yeah, let's okay. That that is a segue. Okay, okay, uh, Daddy man, we're talking to you now. <laughs> Who are you? And spin around and show that uh, sensational little uh, uh, friend of yours or or child of yours. This is Dylan. He's hungry. <laughs> Well, let him eat that. <laughs> Dad is hungry, too. <laughs> How old is Dylan? He is six months. He loves it here. <laughs> He's a Bears fan. He's got the Bears orange and blue, kind of. He's a Bears fan. Very uh, stylish hat, too, I might add. Yeah, it's his uh, beach hat. Yeah. It doubles as a going out hat. Yeah, looks almost Australian. <laughs> <laughs> and do you ever thought on the Bears at all? Uh, I don't watch them too much, so I don't I don't track them, so I don't I don't have much. You're more of a Wise Owl fan. I'm more of a Browns fan, but. Oh my! <laughs> well, okay. Are you following them? Do you know they're a big addition in the off season? I don't. I don't. Okay. Well, let me help you. They got RG3, a, a, a dynamic quarterback, and uh, maybe that's going to be good for you. It might be. All right. All right. Well, we'll continue this journey. Uh, let's go inside. Uh, but if we can, these guys have a comment. They, <laughs> I know they do. 
right here. Oh, oh, oh that's an, <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, I, I heard of loving a bar, but this is taking it to a to quite a degree. What's your name? And let's zoom in on that thing. <laughs> what is your name? Uh, my name is Jeff. Okay. And uh, while he shows that, uh, what do you like about this place? Um, good, good Bloody Marys, good burgers. Great place to come. Yeah, yeah it's very it's smooth vibe, isn't it? Yeah, nice and relaxed. Yes. Yeah, I'm about to have a burger myself. <laughs> <laughs> and the football's so far so good, huh? Yeah, so far so good. Hopefully it'll continue. I know it's only the first game, first half. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll see. So you got to appreciate every good moment. All right. So far All right. Encouraging. Young lady, uh, why do you like the Wise Owl and who are you? Uh, my name's Jen. I like it because it's close. The food's good. They have a parking lot. And I'm a Lions fan, so they play different games, so I don't have to watch the Bears. <laughs> wow, that's a lot going on there. Uh, the parking lot is wonderful. Okay, I just got word my hamburger's ready. I gotta, that, I'm gotta. i not going to talk fast. No, I know. Uh, we just heard about them. Um, so the Lions thing. So when the, uh, Do you root for the Bears when they don't play the Lions? No, never. Oh. It hurts me. It's the only Chicago team I don't remember. Which uh, Michigan town are you from? Grand Rapids. Grand yeah. Rapids. But stayed true loyal or true Lions fan. <laughs> well, when's Stafford gonna get good? <laughs> well, I feel like that's a trick question. <laughs> He's better than the Bears quarterback. How's that? They've been better than the Bears the last few years. They've beat him a lot. We'll see what happens this year. I'll put money on it. I'll put money. We'll talk off camera. <laughs> I'll put money. <laughs> okay, you're sitting quietly. Uh, <laughs> may, may, maybe you're the smartest of all. Uh, tell us your name and what you think about uh, this whole scene. Uh, Diana, and uh, it's a great place, great ambiance, fabulous uh, parking lot, um, easy parking, great food, great drinks, great friends. What else could you ask for? Yeah. Good summation. Um, are you a Bears fan? Who do you like on the team? Oh my God, not that big of a fan. <laughs> Just like when they win the game. Exactly. <laughs> and they're halfway there. So we'll, uh, we'll see what this means. Uh, Halftime, we're going to go chow down now. But uh, this is a great group of folks. And uh, we'd love to see you on a Trivia Monday, by the way. Uh, if you live close enough, I'll be here at 8 o'clock tomorrow. See if you can showcase showcase your trivial skills. Uh, yeah, I'm here every other Monday, and it's uh, Patrick Venkowski. And uh, we'll have more in the second half. You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater candles. They want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the No Reason Flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop. Give them a call, 708-474-1212. Kim G. Sherman, psychotherapist, Des Plaines Wellness Center. Therapy for individuals, couples, families. Call 847-962-962. 4849. I've known Kim for over 20 years. She is a true professional and she will help you. Give her a call. Family Dentist, Lawrence Furland, DDS, 109th and Kedzie, crowns, veneers, cleanings, improving your smile. They do a great job. Call 773-233-7044. Excellent work. Impeccable. Call the Family Dentist. 773-233-7044. They did a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. You've got to get to Shelton Fireworks, the world's largest warehouse, off Interstate 94, exit 22B in Porter, Indiana. Row after row of the best fireworks anywhere, from the little ones to the grand finales that'll end your show. Birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, in addition to the 4th of July, just get over there to Shelton Fireworks now. Then you can reload by the time summer comes. Shelton Fireworks, I-94, exit 22B in Portage. 
So the beautiful wings and the beautiful burger and the beer and the wine were all brought to us by my friend Sam, who's a great trivia player and a Giada De Laurentiis look-alike. And uh, how do you feel about working on, uh, on the Bears Day? Huh? Oh, I'm, I, I think it's awesome. I love watching the game and everybody comes out, so it, it's a lot of fun. So, um, the first thing I said to her today was, I said, oh, is that an Otis Wilson jersey or a Doug Buffon jersey? And turn around and reveal. It's the Lance Briggs. So it's a classic generational uh, uh, snafu. I talked about the, like a 20-year period of uh, Bears football, and you're a little bit after that with a very fine player. What, do you have a favorite player on the current Bears? Oh, I mean, off the top of my head. Uh, Maybe Alshon Jeffrey? That's, that's exactly who came to mind. Yeah, Al, Alshon Jeffrey. He's, he's great. He's got a great attitude and... You know, he's very athletic, very, very capable. So. <laughs> he's been making some leaping catches today. That's keeping him uh, ahead in the game. And uh, what about the fans here at the Wise Owl? What, uh, what, what are they like? Huh? Uh, we, we have a variety of fans. We can play any football game that you'd like. So we've got Bills fans in here today. We have uh, some Jaguars fans. Some Packers fans. But mo mostly Bears fans, you know. <laughs> And uh, tell people why they should come out to Trivia every other Monday night. Uh, you should come to Trivia because, number one, it's a lot of fun. Uh, everybody really gets into it. And we've got great specials. It's great atmosphere. And, you know, it's got nothing to do on a Monday, right? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I always have fun when I get to play. So. 8 o'clock. She's very intense. Um, she gets mad if uh, it's not her turn and she knows the answer and someone else gets it. So. Yeah, people every once in a while get a little shouty and say the wrong thing. So uh, anyway, fun times here. Sundays, Mondays, just get here. So the Bears offense stalled. Houston gets his field goal, and they cut the lead to 14-13, to 13, a very tense game. The burgers are going down well. Um, the other snacks are going down well, the beer, the wine, and um, the Bears have a slight lead after three, but I think we're going to be talking another team right now. I hate to say it, but it's time to talk Packers. So uh, tell us your name and how long you've been a Packer fan. Uh, my name's Chris. I've been a Packers fan my whole life, so about uh, 43 years now. All right, well, uh, that's comprehensible. There's a lot of you around here. Um, what makes you think uh, the pack will be good this year? Well, we've got Jordy Nelson back. I liked our, uh, our uh, draft. We had a good draft. Um, I like what we've done on defense. Our, our secondary should be pretty good. And uh, I feel like with, um, with all of those pieces in place and uh, the, uh, the, the chance to have a bounce back year from last year, I'm uh, optimistic about things. By the way, as a Bears fan, thanks for the offensive linemen. Oh, you're you're absolutely welcome. We uh, we normally help out Minnesota with the people who leave the Packers, but we figured we'd uh, throw one your way this time. Thanks for the bone. Now, meanwhile, about your game against Jacksonville, as we hit the videotape, my my Jags are still covering with the five and a half. Uh, how do you think that's going to end up? Uh, not for long. Not for long. <laughs> okay, let's talk to another man wearing one of those unsightly hats. Tell us your name and what you like about the Wise Owl. Uh, my name's Tom. Uh, love the Wise Owl. We live around the corner and come here for good food, good games, and just a good time. Okay, let me uh, inform you guys because you might have missed it. I just started doing my trivia game here on Monday nights. So we can put all our uh, NFL uh, di differences aside and we play music, movies, TV, sports, and all kinds of trivia on Monday nights. Might we see you at 8 o'clock? Not this Monday. I'm traveling tomorrow. But in two weeks, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, for sure. We'll be looking for you. You're completely invited. All right. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. See? We, we have found peace through trivia. I, I think the, whoever wins the president's race should learn from that. <laughs> and then in the fourth quarter, disaster struck. The Texans score a touchdown, and there was trouble. So the end doesn't go so well, and the Bears fall. But we still have happy customers here at the Wise Owl. Let's start with this young man. Uh, tell us your name and uh, what you thought of the game. I'm Tim. 
I thought the games all were a bit rough this evening, this afternoon. Yeah. Did you um, think the Bears had a chance to win it after they had the halftime lead? I thought they did, but as always, a little bit disappointing at the end. Yeah, I hear you. Any thoughts about your uh, fine cuisine here at the Wise Owl? It was delicious. We had uh, an array of appetizers and, you know, a very nice deal coming here. It's good to hear. All right, let's, uh, let's talk to the better half. <laughs> Tell us your name and what you like about the Wise Owl. Uh, my name is Yvonne. I love coming here because literally we live almost next door, so it's like our neighborhood bar. Yeah. And we can always come in and find just like a fine environment, nice drinks, wonderful service. It's like the place to come. Okay, well said. Uh, are you a football fan at all? Uh, no, I don't know anything about sports, but I still can come and have a good time. That's cool. So uh, the Bears fall, and you know we're a little bit sad about it, but we're going to rise above it because we're at the Wise Owl where it's always a good party. Uh, tell us your name and what you like about the place. Uh, my name is Tiffany. I live in the neighborhood. So what I love about the place is its accessibility and, and the openness, I think, that it kind of, the way it's designed, where people can kind of come in and out and kind of have a good time, catch the game. Um, it just feels like a really great neighborhood place to stop in and, and kind of enjoy the game. Yeah, I agree. Okay, tell us your name, sir, and uh, you know, why you like coming out here. Absolutely. My name is Brendel Solomon. I am not a resident of the neighborhood, but I'm happy to visit. Uh, West Loop is a great location, I think, for a bar like this. And I love the open layout. It seems like a great place to bring a group. You can come by yourself. Everyone is very welcoming. You can come with a person that you just really care about and just sit and watch the game. And unfortunately, the Bears lost, but it happens. We got 15 more games to go, though. That's a very optimistic view. I'm just curious, are you a Chicago guy? And if so, where are you from? I am definitely a Chicago guy. Grew up on the west side of Chicago, the Garfield Park area, and currently live in Wrigleyville. With a 30-year southwest side tradition, Huck Finn is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. Go play at Red Shoes Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski in Austin, featuring 16 Brunswick Gold Crown pool tables, drop fluorescent lighting fixtures, and a fabulous rate of cloth. Call 708 388 3700. And now video gaming is available at Red Shoes from open till close. And don't forget the Illinois Lottery 2. That's Red Shoe Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski. You've got to get to the sock. Live Bidkowski trivia, alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road. Great game, great people. Check out the sock. I think you'll be glad you did when you go to my trivia game every other Thursday. 8 p.m., 93rd, and Roberts Road. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. Thus, tune-ups, transmission, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and emission system repair. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and they've done a great job for me. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. The Irish legend has great food, great drink, a beautiful outdoor patio, great staff, and open at 11 a.m. daily. Easy to reach at 8933 South Archer in Willow Springs. You've got to get to the Irish legend. It's beautiful this time of year. It's beautiful all every time of year. I'll see you at the Irish legend. So I asked Chris Beck his defining moment of 2016. And I walked Dustin Pedroia on four pitches. Xander Bogarts rolls over like a broken bat to, to third infield hit. Then David Ortiz is up, or no, Jackie Bradley Jr. bunts luckily, pop up bunt. Then I have to walk David Ortiz, and then you know. So they're loaded with one out. Yeah, they're loaded with one out, and then they pinch at Travis Shaw, and I thought I had him struck out, um, and then he hits a deep fly ball to Eaton on the warning track, and then I punched out Hanley Ramirez on a three-two slider, and I was just like, man, like that. Felt like Houdini. I mean. <laughs>
I, I, don't, I honestly, like, I'm surprised I remember it just because the adrenaline rush I had. But, you know, I was like, you know, we were in there for this situation. Let's bear down. Let's do this. But um, I got out of that. I took, like, a deep breath, and I was just like, I really do not want to get myself in that situation again. But with this time, there'll be a little more experience behind it. And a lot of that's throwing strike one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Strike one. Um, I think that's what got me in trouble and got me another... I guess, you know, stint in the minor leagues. Um, first time up here, like, I was walking guys, kind of nitpicking, like, just doing what I didn't do to get here. And, uh, you know, it kind of bit me a little bit. And, you know, I went down there and focused on throwing strikes, and luckily, you know, I got the call back up. And now you got the extra pitch, and it's in the arsenal, and they don't know when you're going to throw it. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's going well. Um, I'm enjoying it, just taking it all in. Just learning. You've got to get the jacks. 3325 Ridge Road in Lansing. Trivia every Tuesday at 7 p.m. A very intense competitive game. Any of half a dozen teams can win. My game show at Oliver's gets better and better. At 6100 West 159th Street in Oak Forest. Live trivia alternate Thursdays at 7 p.m. Have great food, great drink, and great trivia at Oliver's. Perfect pitch auto repair at what 108th and Kedzie is great. Tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. They do a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. They're quick, and they don't charge an arm and a leg. Perfect pitch auto repair, 108th and Kedzie. Reggie's is a great place with tons of music, interesting people and staff, great food and drink at 21st and State. And amongst the cool things they have, Benkowski Trivia. All shows are now Monday at 6 p.m. Reggie's, 21st and State, a fun place. Well, I don't think I really manipulate the fourth and fifth spot because right now Rod Bolton and Jason Bray are fourth and fifth starters, and you know, right now doing a good job. Uh, I'd probably say it probably went back spring training. You know, I decided to uh, make a change at second base, and uh, Steve Sachs had been an all-star uh, second baseman, and. I decided that uh, Craig Beck, Graybeck at the time was going to be the second baseman, and he got hurt, and Joey Cora became the second baseman. You know, it, that, it's a funny thing. That's the way baseball works sometimes. The injury provides the impetus for a guy to get his shot, and, and Joey capitalized, especially early. Uh, I guess you'd have to put in the surprise category Ellis Burke's emergence. A lot of skeptics said, you know, this guy's damaged goods, and look what he's done. I think if you thought of it uh, along the lines that he was damaged good, then it surely was uh, a surprise. But we knew if Ellis played anywhere close to the potential that he had before he hurt his back, that we had a pretty complete player. And uh, so far, he's been injury free. You've been watching the Perfect Pitch Auto Repair Sports Spotlight. Perfect Pitch located at 108th and Kedzie. Take your vehicles there for great repairs. This week's show has been brought to you by the Lansing Floral Shop. Call for your flowers at 708-474-1212. Huck's Finn, a great wide-ranging menu, along with donuts and ice cream. Open 24 hours at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Imprint Graphics, leaders in booklet, perfect bound saddle stitch. Very competitive pricing, 708-396-1010.